Welcome to eGroupware. This tutorial is a short explanation of how to build up an Ubuntu server on ProfitBricks data center. For any other Linux distribution, the process would work the same way. We will only provide some brief explanation about how to create server, network and storage within ProfitBricks. You may find more documentation on ProfitBricks.com. If you think this explanation is not relevant to your environment, you may only watch our video for the eCoopware installation itself. We offer one for the eCoopware Enterprise Line EPL as well as one for our community version. As an EPL customer, you can call our support team or open a ticket anytime in case you have any kind of problems with your installation. In order to create our installation on ProfitBricks Data Center, we first need to prepare the infrastructure to be able to access from outside. Therefore, we drag and drop an Internet access object from the left side box into our data center. As you see, the Internet access object now is available and ready for being used. The next step would be to create our server. Simply from the left side box, drag and drop a server object into the data center. On the right side of this platform, you will see another side box which contains all properties of the selected item. For instance, the number of CPU cores, amount of memory and the server name. In this example, we set them to one core of CPU, 2 GB of RAM and the server name usually would be the domain name that you would reach out to your server. Now we switch to the Network tab in order to configure the networking by simply clicking on Add NIC. As you see, we now have a network interface card which we can connect to our Internet Access object. To do so, simply drag a connection line from the server's network interface node and drop it on the Internet Access object. We have our server connected to the Internet Access object via LAN 1 network which as soon as we provision the server, it will get a DHCP IP address from the Internet Access Network. Of course, you have the option to not use DHCP IP by unchecking the DHCP option. You can also add additional IPs or add firewall rules into your network. The third tab is Storage, where we can add our desired medias into our server by clicking on Add buttons or simply dragging and dropping the storage media into our environment. Drag and drop an HDD storage into our environment. Now let's configure the storage by setting its size to 16GB and load the image of Ubuntu 16.04 server from the image select box. Now we have password, SSH keys and ad hoc SSH key options available, so we can set the server root password and add our SSH keys in order to get SSH access to our server. The last thing to get the storage ready is making a connection between the server and the storage. Simply drag a connection line from HDD object and drop it on the server object. Now comes the time to provision all changes we've made so far on this data center and apply them permanently by clicking on provision button located on bottom right corner. Our server is created. We have fully configured a running server with a signed DHCP IP address.
In top right corner we have a button to open a remote console to our server. Or, as we already set SSH keys, we can get access via SSH by opening a terminal and type SSH root at the IP address of our server. Now we are logged in as user root. It is highly recommended activating auto update in case it is not activated and always keep the server up to date. In order to run eGroupware, we need to have three main components. PHP module, database module and a web server. If you'd like to know about minimum requirements, please visit our installation instruction page on www.egroupware.org and open the download page. The eGroupware package installation for Ubuntu 16.04 will install all those necessary components. Now your ProfitBricks instance for Ubuntu is created. You can either install the eCoopware Enterprise Line EPL or a Community Edition. We show those options in additional videos. Furthermore, we recommend the written instructions on our website. They are available for both versions and helpful prior to starting the installation. Feel free to contact us if you want to know more about eGroupware or run into any kind of problems during the installation.